What's up everybody, hope you're doing awesome out there. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Before we get started on today's topic, I wanted to extend a thank you to those of you that have been watching the videos, liking them, sharing them with your friends, subscribing to the channel, I really appreciate it. And uh, it makes a big difference and it means a lot to me. But I have noticed, going through my YouTube analytics stuff, like you know all the cool YouTube people do, 80% or something of you that are watching these videos are not subscribed, so. I would appreciate a subscribe, but I would appreciate you liking the video and all that cool stuff you're supposed to do on YouTube because it definitely helps me and, um, you know, makes me feel good. So, help make me feel good. In today's video, we are doing yet again another grinder burr test. Doing a lot of these. But it's cool because it's cool information. We learn a lot. Uh, and each time I do one of these videos, I get a lot of great comments from you guys. And I learn something new that I should include in the videos each time I do them. To ensure that I'm getting as close as possible grind size between these two burrs, um, I use the Grinds app once again, which is a really cool application. Um, it's not like super duper accurate, but I think it's accurate enough. Basically what you do is you put down a white sheet of paper, you use a coin. I've just used a dime, a standard, you know, US dime. Sprinkle some coffee grounds next to it, take a picture of it, and it compares the size of your coffee grounds to the object you have in the image that you've selected and compares those particle sizes to that dime and it gives you a rough estimate of where your coffee grind is. So for this test, I was targeting around 800 micron. I got the Gorilla Gear Burr set up to about 808 micron according to the app. And then what I did was I just kept playing with the grinder that has the Gen 2 burrs in it until I got as close as I possibly could to that 800 micron uh, mark. And I believe I got the Gen 2s around 816 micron. So pretty dang close. Um, but our cups of coffee will tell us how we did on that. This right here is the Gorilla Gear. Um, my experience with the Gorilla Gears has been really good. I've enjoyed them since I've had them. Clarity on them has been really good. The body on them is really nice. Sweetness is really good. So I've been overall really happy with them. And then of course, you've seen the other videos where we've talked about the Gen 2 burrs. I'm also very, very uh, happy with the Gen 2 burrs uh, for the money. They are fantastic, they're really consistent. I would say as far as clarity goes, from my experiences, the Gorilla Gears are sort of falling in between the Gen 2 and the SSP MPs. Uh, not quite the extreme clarity that the MPs have, uh, but a little bit more than the Gorilla Gears, but it's probably pretty minimal. And the sweetness on these is, is also very good. I've been, again, I've been very pleased with both of these burrs. I know it's hard to see in the camera from that angle, but uh, I got these, you know, like I said, I got these both as close as I possibly could to 800 micron. Oh, you know what I can do? I'm gonna use my phone. So this right here is the Gorilla Gear. This here is the Gen 2. You can see, uh, again, very similar. They feel identical, you know, rolling them in my fingers. They feel absolutely identical. They look identical. So now we're gonna move on to actually brewing up this coffee. Both of these are 15 gram doses. So we're gonna be doing a 15 to 250, which is basically a 16 to one, a little more than 16 to one uh, ratio, uh, brewing both of these in the Oreo V3 dripper. So I'm gonna grab all that stuff, get set up, brew these up, and then we'll do a little taste test. For this comparison, we are gonna be brewing up this delicious JBC Coffee Roasters uh, Barimbo Village Congo, which is a fantastic coffee. Probably one of my, maybe one of my favorite coffees I've had this year. It's a really great, really great tasting coffee. Flavor notes of vanilla, cherry, and graham cracker. Damn it. Crap. The aerodynamics of a paper filter is not all that great. I'm also not very good at this. All my friends are good at this. Why can't I do this? Yeah! So first up, we're gonna be brewing the Gorilla Gear grind. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. This coffee smells so good. Two minutes, 30 seconds, right on the dot. Oh, first try on that one. Gen 2 brew. If we get to 125 and the coffee is just a hair above the coffee bed, or the water, I mean, is it just a hair above the bed of coffee? Then we know we're, we're on target 122. So we're pretty close. Two minutes, 225. So the Gen 2 brew was about five seconds faster than the Gorilla Gear brew. Probably close enough to where we're gonna be able to do a good you know, comparison here. Does anybody else out there time their swirls? I always do it just to be consistent, especially when comparing, like, you know, taste testing. I always do try to do the same exact thing for each brew. 
Why are you always laughing at me about stuff? Just because they can't see you on camera doesn't mean that you're not laughing. It's enough swirling. I don't know why I'm covering my eyes. I'm facing away from you. I can't see anything. I'm gonna do a little smell test. This one here has a little bit more of the, maybe the cherry and like the honeysuckle or kind of floral. Ah, oh, this coffee's good. Ooh, got some of the graham cracker. Cherry, graham cracker, definitely. That's really good. Flavor separation is good. I can definitely tell the cherry separated from kind of that graham cracker note, a little bit of floral, like I said, kind of a honeysuckle kind of flavor to it. And I can kind of delineate those pretty, pretty well. I'm not getting quite as much of the graham cracker sort of flavor, but the cherry flavor is on par, about the same. Slightly, maybe a touch more clarity in this than in this one, but very similar. Sweetness is about the same. The finish is the same. The vibrancy of the flavor is really good in this cup and in, in both of those. This tastes almost identical. These two taste the same to me. This, mm, this is hard. The florality of this one is a little more noticeable. Not quite as florally, not really much of the graham cracker. Yeah, same. I think this one is the Gorilla Gear. Slightly, a little bit more clarity. I'm getting a little bit more separation of the flavor notes, the delineation of the flavor kind of between that cherry and that graham cracker. These two taste identical to me. So I, I think this is the Gorilla Gear, I think. Oh, it is. I was right. They're so close. They're so similar. Again, just a slight, just a slight bump in the clarity here, a little bit better. Um, separation of the flavor notes, but man, they are very, very close. I have recently talked to some friends that also have the Gorilla Gear burrs, or at least have played with them and messed with them, and they're all kind of in agreement that the Gorilla Gear, while they're good for filter, they seem to be better for espresso. Neither one of these burrs is a bad choice at all. The Gorilla Gears, while, you know, while they are more expensive, are fantastic burrs, produce a fantastic cup of coffee. The Gen 2s, hands down produce the greatest cup of coffee I've ever had from a burr that's only $80. Um, but if you want something that's maybe a little more versatile and you have a grinder like say a DF64 or something else that you can swap you know, burrs into, then the Gorilla Gears may be better suited for you if you do a lot of espresso brewing. I don't do as much espresso here at home, so I feel like the Gen 2s or for other, you know, for myself or for other people that primarily are doing filter brewing, the Gen 2s, hands down, the winner. If you want something that's versatile that can do both really good filter brews and really good espresso, then the Gorilla Gears are gonna be the way to go for you. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than I hope that was helpful. I will end this by saying thank you for watching. Appreciate your support, appreciate you commenting, appreciate you liking the videos and sharing them with your other coffee nerd friends. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next video. Take care.